Sasa ni mkofiti mwanzo nimewa hata mwanzo nimewa miss welcome to Celeste reflection leo leo sisi wote tuko kwa class i won't lie my guest today has <laughs> we are going to pay school fees after this i swear mimi i have never had okay i have had about what she's saying but not in the depth that you're going to discuss today so leo to Katie, last two, last Two weeks ago to listen about finances leo tunasoma ingine about childbirth so welcome nicole to sales reflection thank you watch your case out yako <laughs> na amesema kidogo mtamuelewa si ndio yeah. but tutajaribu si ndio eh yeah. ah amesema si ndio tuko sawa <laughs> so nicole introduce yourself please uh, hi everyone uh, i'm called nicole i'm a doula i'm a childbirth educator and also i do pain management practice I'm a pain management practitioner. So what that is, I help women support them during labor, during pregnancy and during postpartum. So that can look different for every woman, but essentially whatever your needs are emotionally, I'm supposed to be there to help you meet them and prepare you for childbirth. And that's why Nicole is here because maybe I have very many emotional needs, <laughs> especially now. <laughs> thank you so much Nicole for reaching out mm-hmm. and thank you so much for agreeing to, to be on our show. Thank you for having Sisi me. Sisi si watu wabaya, tunapenda ku learn, tunapenda ku know more about. Mm. Especially now childbirth. I know we are many. By this I natembea tau every two steps. Mama <laughs> kona mimba. <laughs> every two steps. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't know it's because I'm pregnant or it's like that but mm-hmm. I feel like almost everyone. Yeah. Let's say out of 10 we Nine. have one. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel we are so many, mm. so so many. Mkienda kununua basins. Mnapata na hapo nyinyi wote ni eh congratulations so you look so good. Oh, <laughs> which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah yeah and we also pray for those who want to that time your beta come mm-hmm. and they'll experience the joy yeah yeah so nicole amesema yeye ni dula eh atatuambia what she does mm-hmm. her, her stories before we started recording nilikuwa nimuuliza maswali kidogo i am about to change my mentality you got this wewe usinichoche hapo mimi yeye ni chocheke alafu yeye siku ikifika no Mm-hmm. But uh, I would like also was a was a reflection was here. Mm-hmm. So basically what does Adula do? Adula is basically we take care of the non-medical part of pregnancy and childbirth. So that means preparing you for labor, learning what your body does, uh learning how to relax during labor, also preparing your family whether that's your partner or your other children, blah 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 and then postpartum. Sasa that involves not taking care of your body, taking it easy on yourself. We help you stay well fed, well nourished. If you need any mental health checks, we'll, you know, we help you access the right resources. So, for example, come me miss I can seek your services. Mm-hmm. The way I am right now currently. Yeah. Am I supposed to give birth then seek your services? No, you can seek my services at any point, even if it's two weeks after you found out you're pregnant and you want to start preparing. It's Work fine. With you through the journey. Yeah, so now your needs will be different. So, let's say you your father along So I think now it'd be more preparing for birth, preparing for postpartum, getting everything in order for that period. Preparing yeah. both physically and emotionally peke. Like mm. physically in terms of Celestine you need this, mm. no no I beba I. Unajua? Yeah. Like what what they do at packing my your hospital bag. bag. Uh, yeah. That kind of preparations and preparations is mentality mm. like emotionally you need to be on point yeah uh-huh. so now for you i think it would be depending on what you feel like you're struggling with currently see it turns out with whatever is your biggest issue right now then we'll work down from there that way by the time birth is coming you're feeling you know i can give birth i can take care of this baby and you have all the support you need for I yourself am yes. sorry i am <laughs> yes i am i have one daughter who's almost two. Oh wow yeah So you are a young mom. Yeah. To yeah. say we are together. Yeah. Pamoja sasa tiko na mwenye ako na teenager hapa. So how was your like what made you choose to be a doula because most of the people na hosting kwa sellers mm. mtu kuambia I had this challenge I had this challenge mm. and that's why I decided nikatafuta mm. nikakosa so I decided to read about it learn about it. Mm-hmm. So you is it something only taka when you we becoming a mom no. am it something that you've had it over a time mm. mama so when i was 
I found a video on YouTube of this woman giving birth outside in a forest and I was like, that looks amazing. So I started learning more and by then I I found about podcasts about home birth, what, you know, birth was like before we started giving birth in the hospital, stuff like that. And That's then, 19. Yeah. 19 singangalia. I know. Mama Akiza. <laughs> like how? I know. Up to date, I'm still scared yeah. of seeing those vlogs while people are de- delivering. Like I can't. Mm. And it makes sense because it depends. Sometimes, like if you're watching... Uh, baths that are highly managed, the woman seems like she's stressed out, like there could be an emergency at any second. It, it leaves you feeling like you feel tight in your chest. So now I think once you start watching and listening to stories of women having relaxed baths or painful baths that, you know, they felt very powerful in, because even if it hurts, you can handle it. It's just, it's one minute. A contraction is never longer than one minute. Are you sure? Yeah. Like unless, one unless it's pause, on, one minute in a pause yeah. or like not continuous. Mm. So you now you'll start, the contraction will start and then through that duration of one minute it'll go up and then down. So so there's the peak. Mm. Then, oh, yeah. That's when you're told to breathe. breathe. Yeah, so breathe. now when you're feeling yourself tightening in that peak of pain, <laughs> you just... <laughs> it's possible, imagine. Eh. You know, you have your periods. Giving birth is just another outcome of your menstrual cycle. So it's not it's not like this abnormal thing that's happening. It's something you, you can do. Many women have done before. Many women will keep doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not the first one. You're not the last one. You're not the last one. Yeah, and you got this. <laughs> so how was your experience like when you were, like after watching 19 years, uh, your first vlog ever called Ona Mama Kiza. Mm. That's when you decided, Sasa, this is something that Neza Pendakulan. Ama, you went to school? I didn't I didn't go into it in, in, with the intention of becoming a doula. So I went into it just preparing myself for birth. I wanted to have a calm birth, one with as little inter- interventions or interruptions as possible. <laughs> so that's how I started learning. And then through that, I gave birth to my daughter at home. And then that's when I now decided to start helping women. Your one and only daughter. My one and only. Okay, I'm to <laughs> Yeah. Uchukwe to your risk, Nicole. Why not? With who? With your parents, ama with your friends, ama? With my husband and my puppy. <laughs> Guy. Yeah. Okay. What? Sorry. What? So like you, your first baby was a home birth. Mm-hmm. And hopefully the next will be as well. <laughs> How was it? Like na kuanga na maswali na ta the day I'll meet someone who gave birth at home. Yeah. Because the government is trying to give us free maternity, free ma- free ma- maternity, maternity services, yeah. healthcare. Well, <laughs> which is not the case because bado utaenda utanunua kitu, utalipa kitu. Mm-hmm. But the government is like tunajaribu kutoa kwenye mashosho zote walikuwa nazalia kwa shamba kwa nyumba. Mm. Tunawapeleka hosi. Yeah, we've op- overcomplicated it. Si si. <laughs> Tunajitoa hosi. Tunajirudisha Home bath. Mm-hmm. Kwa we are calling it home, home bath. bath. <laughs> Sounds so cool. <laughs> Nani, the same thing our shows used to do. Yeah. So, nukona zalia kwa nyumba. So, My grandma had 10, 8 babies at home. I, so, so you was, want to, so you, you, like, that's so cool. Ama? It's not cool. For me, I wanted to give myself the best chance to have this baby as peacefully and as just the way to litaka. So, now the best way we could do that was doing but, it at home where I was comfortable, where I wasn't feeling... You know, there's pressure of being... Now when a doctor is there, you feel like they are, they are the nini. Your head, they don't are supposed to tell you what to do. Uh, yes. You know, you're looking for them to, to tell you. Me. Yeah, but what you am I supposed to do now, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, uh, since you queen just say we are viewing home birth as something that is so cool. Mm. And the same thing, Shoshietu Alifaya, Kwa Sama Nazaria, Kwa Nyumba. Sai guy, it was a home birth. Like, it looks, well, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Mm. But the reason why me, me, me being a, you, you are a home birth mom, mm. me being a hospital mom, mm. I feel like, una feel safe. Nataka weo daktari ni kisikia tu, ki. Daktari, kucha, 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 kucha. So, like, mm. some sense of, Secure, safety, yeah, safety in case exactly. like an emergency happens exactly yeah, yeah. so where we apo kwa nyumba let me just ask hmm. if if god forbid something happened did you have ulikuwa una feel Backup. like uh-huh. is your husband a doctor no he's <laughs> a lawyer kai sasa mngeanzia wapi i i can tell when my body is not okay 
Like even you, if you had a cold right now, you can feel it. See, at you need to go to the hospital so someone can tell you have a cold. You'll go to the hospital with a cold and ask for the medication, isn't you? Mm-hmm. So it's now that's sore throat. Yeah, so you're like, I have a sore throat. Give me medicine. So now let's say now you're in labor and you feel like, I this this baby is not coming out. You know, this labor is not going the way. Yeah, yeah. So now that's where you'll be like, let me call an ambulance, or you drive there, and you just go. I- Get whatever help you feel you need. Some people like I like call. Nikingoja niskiye, niskiye. Like niskiye, I. Nika tu kosa wa niki biosi. Yeah, but. Sinigenda tu biosi ma pema. Yeah, see now when you're having a home birth, see at you're just like, okay, this baby's coming. Let me just wait and see. You've planned. You've planned for backup. You've planned for help after you give birth. You have planned for every single thing, everything that you'd leave your doctor and your midwife to plan, now you're doing it just at the comfort of your home. So it looks a bit different. It's not hospital bags. No, it's mostly blankets, food, water, things to keep you hydrated for labor, stuff like that. Hey, me, me, bado ni kotuna maswali. So, ambulance ni kwa inje na madok. I'm a, just the... Just the ambulance. Just the ambulance. To take us to the hospital where the doctors are. Ambulance na driver. Mm. So who's so ni wewe na again it's just you and your husband. Mm. Did were you were you were you having were you visiting the were you going for the antenatal clinics? I went for an ultrasound at 28 weeks, but aside from that I was tracking my progress, I was taking my measurements so you can measure your the belly. weeks you are yeah by measuring your belly. So now you measure from down here to here. So as it grows now you can measure 40 weeks, 30 weeks. How? 20 weeks. So now this, it's now on the tape measure. Tape measure? Yeah. It tells so you how many weeks you are. So now let's say, I've forgotten what number Ukudri is. So now there's a certain number on the tape measure that reaches. Mm-hmm. So that says you're 40 weeks. Now that's how midwives would measure your progress back in the day. So the entire journey from when you were pregnant, how could you on a guy now? No, I didn't. At all? Yeah. So you didn't even get your tetanus, Nini? You didn't even get your... Like were you just to say my two home bath ni kuris kama? It's not a risk. Imagine I was in shags with my grandmother. So I'd just be pregnant and wait yeah, for the baby to come. And you still give birth. Yeah, and if I was sick or if, if I felt sick, said I'd go to the hospital. So See at I'm yeah, just yeah, ni kuna easy pesa za clinic na endanga kila mwezi. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's up to you, but yeah. <laughs> if like, you if you feel like like let's say if you've struggled with high blood pressure before, mm-hmm. that's something you know going into your pregnancy so you can go to your doctor and track the progress also things like uh, your blood sugar you can buy the kit and then do the test at home so there's a lot of things like you can take upon yourself to do see at you're just helpless with this baby that's taking over your body so you from the onset story hosi hakuna it's not that i refused i said i would no. go when i needed it so if i felt like maybe i was having I was feeling anemic or something like that. I'd go to the hospital, get tested, get whatever medicine I'd need. Yeah. And why why is it why why do you feel okay why okay because now I feel like you're changing the narrative somehow because mm. hijandikwa. Yeah. You have to be hijandikwa tulipata tu. You've just decided your mom was going so even yeah. me I'm going. Actually yeah. yeah, my mom went for so these people are going for clinics so let me go. Mm. So it's not written somewhere. Yeah. So it's like you want to change this motion. Yeah, I think like, it's it's more about giving people options cuz like let's say uko shags but then now people are telling you need to buy prenatal pills which are what like 3k for that ka small pack. No, it's, it's it's not manageable mm. but then now you can eat those vitamins. You so didn't take supplements? I took it through food. Hey. Yeah, so now let's like, say like folate which you need mm. when you're pregnant for your brain, baby's brain development. You can have avocado, uji. There's lots of foods that have these vitamins. CRT it's being created out of nowhere. Yeah, Nicola can be where you gonna be D. Maybe up as Celeste Nico let the doctor do his job mm. and me do his jo- yeah. and me carry the baby. Yeah. Like where was Nico when you could yambia meza supplements? You come here. Uko week, uko week. Yeah. Sina, at least you could no. You tell me. Mm. Nico week what like yeah. which is a good thing cuz yeah. pia not not all the time tunaweza go to and the... iso clinics. Mm. Cuz I imagine from when you're pregnant every month 
That's how much is the consultation? Oh, 2000, 3000. Mm. And then you're there for 15 we'll... minutes. Exactly. You don't get to ask your question. Atani, are you okay? Anyway, are you feeling anything? Mm-mm. So, uko sawa? Umekuwa kikula? Unalala vizuri? Mm. Like there's nothing. I love how long have you waited for that 15 minute appointment? So after, hey, so after giving birth at home, your husband took the baby, then what? Then that's it. He, like, he took it to you see, like when we, when we give birth, can I have a pegs? Can I fungo? Can I fungo pegs? Can I have a little bit of a Like, how many kgs? Did you mm. know the kgs? We found out after, but I really didn't care because you know. Why? That's how I'm struck. I'll go a little bit. 3.3. You found out later, like later after a few days, mm. I'm a later. So now after I gave birth, I think four or six hours later, we went to the hospital to get her checked out and then get me stitched. So they took her weight and that was it. They just took her weight and then I got stitched. Then I think they gave her a few of the vaccines. Guy, Nicole, hey, you're such a strong woman. From where I sit, yeah. na na tu cinema, na na tu movie. <laughs> Honestly, there's no difference. It's just the fear, you know. Like if you weren't scared of giving birth, you'd probably also just like even now you're relaxed. You're not no, but panicking the stories about. We've had. Yeah. The stories are, the stories Chucky are bad. Magic, yeah. uh, exactly. So, and I'm so sure right now, if I try doing. Like I am so, so certain, the kajaribu kufanya home birth. Everyone will come with all and their death stories. And something happened. Yeah. Eh, like neza tata ndi kwa na mama kwa estate. Exactly. Uruko na fikiri anini hospitali doi le pare. Muruko na jaribu ni like kana neza tata ndi kwa. You see. Mm-hmm. So the thought of that, also the fear that I have, yeah. like childbirth ina kuanga crazy. Mm. Natoka level one nenda unakuwa mwendo wazimu. Mm. So it is about to die. <laughs> It's it's close to death actually. Yeah. Ona mm. It's not it's not like a it's a fifty fifty thing. Mm-hmm. You're not so sure about it. So imagine with all these stories, Nicole. How are you supposed to? Nikubali <laughs> tu It's so hard because I think the hardest part is just filtering out all those people's negative stories and then now dealing with whatever you feel is stopping you from thinking you can give birth to that baby by yourself. Because at the end of the day, you're going to the hospital because you think it won't happen, right? Or you won't be able to... Something will go wrong in the process. Exactly. Right? That's the main reason why I'm going to the hospital. Because mm. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, but now what if you could prepare for those um, those things that could go wrong before and also pay attention to them during labor? It's not that every single labor is guaranteed that you'll have a hemorrhage or you'll have uh, whatever else could go wrong, you know? Hemorrhage is overbleeding. Yeah, so when you're bleeding many, too much. Many women do overbleed. Yeah. There's pressure that mm. can shoot. There's overbleeding. Mm. That like there's a lot that can happen. Mm. Yeah. So now, like the typical Kenyan, when you're kujanga kwa nyumba kwa nakuliza na nyumba unalipanga pesa ngapi? Allow me to ask. Mm. Is home birth affordable? It if d- you compare it mm. with the hospital. Maybe say normal. Okay, I'm going to say yes. Yes, sir. So I, I think that depends also now where you're giving birth. If you're giving birth in a public hospital, obviously. Let's compare it to the public. Public. Eh? Mm. So now home birth, if you have... Most women actually who are low income have... Uh, nini, they have TBAs. Like if you go to Kibera or you go to Shags in Western, they're using TBAs. And those ones are paid through food or, you know, whatever you can afford. Mm. So if now if you're going to see a TBA, then affordable but if you're going to see a midwife that will cost you about 200 to 300 k so we are not giving birth at home because we are saving because we are not saving yeah. I, save up. Yeah. I mean i saved but if you're having a midwife it's, it's not saving how much how much was it mine you? was you didn't have a midwife no you didn't have anybody else yes but my friends came after actually to mm-hmm. clean up my friend helped me clean the placenta now <laughs> <laughs> What no, I did great. What do you do? I put it in soil for compost. Oh, like you bury it? Yeah. But it's, yeah. it decomposes, I mean, in a end too. Mm. It's in the mm. But now you see also in a lot of, even Kenyan cultures, the placenta is something sacred. It's not yeah. something that you can just go and throw it. That's also another reason why women choose to mm. go with TBS. 
Because there's certain cultural practices that are important to you and your child that won't be followed in the hospital. So personally, I think uh, I was tested by three. Three. The first nurse did it twice. Akamaliza mm. shift akae. Wale mwenye anaingia tu shift akiingia tu hivi anakuja tu kama ingia tena kupima that thing is so uncomfortable like you don't stack it ena sai. And do you feel like it helped you in the did you feel like it helped you or helped you anything? Exactly. I, I wasn't a normal mom so I, normal I didn't give back normal. But here's the thing. Naweza penda hiyo kitu nasema like I I want to feel my space like kusikwe na watu wengi. Kama doka anaweza kuja kwa nyumba yangu ama hiyo hosi kuja kwa nyumba yangu. Mm. I'll be okay. Cuz hapo hivyo nas mm. anaingia shift yake afanye Kenya anafaa kufanya aje zile form mm. aishie. So I get your point of wanting it to feel mm. like my own. Yeah. But then at the same time niko zile za he I also want to feel at peace kikiumana mm. naweza mshika hivi mm. ni mtingishe <laughs> ni mwambie we. Mm. Yeah. So there's there's that yeah. 50-50. Yeah, like it, but now when you think about it, most of the emergencies in labor, they don't just happen. There's like something leading up to it. You can tell like maybe the the mother will become lightheaded, she's, you know, and atoka in and out of consciousness. You know, she seems like she's passing out or something like that. Or maybe she'll even tell you she's tired, you know, she's t- she tired of doing this, she wants to go to the hospital and maybe get some medication or something. And then she does, you just go. Yeah, you just go. Will there be time? Yeah. You know it's not it doesn't happen like your midwife won't wait for when you're bleeding now when the blood is running down your legs. She'll wait she'll notice the signs before like five steps before. Then that way she's like okay I think things are going wrong. Let's go get some help. Hey, uko Kenya tumeona movies tunanga tu. Ah, pack twende. Pack twende. Toka toka. <laughs> then you get to the hospital kuna like 11 hours of labor. Then they send you back and now you're disappointed. Then they tell you go back home. Umekimbia hosi mara sijui ngapi. Mm. Now when are you getting time to relax and allow your body to relax during that time when you're running in in and out of hospital. So now since you became a doula, have you given have you assisted several women to give birth? Several women to give birth. I support them as they labor. I don't help them give birth. So now let's say with their pain management, so I help you with relaxing. Maybe if you need your children like entertained as you're in labor. Mm. So now I'll take your kids. I'll support your husband if he's done who needs supporting so maybe it's for the whole family it's not just for, for you them. yeah so now sir maybe if you need like a back massage or you need someone to hold your hands in a back massage so now we'll have your husband and me and your midwife we're all working together to make sure you're as comfortable as possible na sasa here's the bath ukiziona sana nicole hazikusumbue emotionally no it's not the same as when you go in the hospital and you're hearing all these women screaming you're hearing these women being abused <laughs> beating you know? their husbands exactly you'll just find you know a woman will have a contraction for one minute after that she's normal you're just talking you're having fun you're listening to music you know Oof. you're just going about your day waiting for the baby to come Oof. are you listening to music mm. Oof. Wow. Mm. hey nicole where <laughs> You anyway. can shower, you can be in the tub. You know, you have many options for. Cuz I think many women's fear is the pain. That's your biggest fear. Mm. How am I going to handle mm. the pain? But there's so many ways to take care of your body, to have someone massage you, get in the shower, get in the tub. There's many ways to make yourself comfortable. It sounds like the process is very easy. It's very bath is very simple when you just leave it alone. This is not complicated. Yeah. Are you sure? Imagine. Are you sure? Yeah. Cervical exams increase the risk of infection. They make it harder for you to relax. Kai nan ako na haraka. By the way, mimi akinipima, si sisemi, sisemi walikuwa baya but now I understand where you are coming from. Cuz si mimi peke yangu niko kwa hiyo hosi. Yeah, they don't even if she wanted to take the time and like get you prepared for the cervical exam, she has what like 10 other patients exactly. waiting for you. And she doesn't know who is serious. Kuna mwenye ana scream bure. Mm. Niwaambia aende home akuje kesho amekata. Exactly. <laughs> and you know for so, her that's her job. You you're coming here for this very big important moment of your life. Why it's just another day at work. Yeah, so So you won't come with the same level of uh, like seriousness to the nini. Ay ay ay. You know what I mean? So it's not just about 
life or death like you you can enjoy the experience your baby can enjoy the experience if you want your baby to come out calmly and you want a water bath you can do that as well so hey so what happens after mtu yametoka like now that you've assisted a few women how mm. many less than 10 so what happens now mtu yametoka you the midwife anachukua mtu hii then anafanya tu kama hosi no you actually the midwife won't take your baby she will leave you with your baby on your chest for as long as possible because your skin to skin is what also triggers your hormones to produce the breast milk it helps you bond with the baby sisi wenye tu kwa skin to skin hospital you can do it after you see <laughs> just keep your baby on your skin as long as possible even if you've had a c section just after just keep your baby on your skin because mm-hmm. it also helps regulate their temperature it regulates Kai. their heartbeat like when immediately the baby is out what you lose now na na nauliza tu kama watu wa cells reflection na jua tao nafikiria hivyo once the baby is out for the normal delivery because for us unajua tunakuanga almost half dead yeah. like me I saw Tugi, i think the following day mm. waliacha kwanza nipumzike niamke because i can't feel anything it, yeah. so for the normal people when you want the baby is out pain wisha instantly yeah and then you wait for the contractions of the placenta when it's mm-hmm. ready to come out you see how I'm making my face mm. <laughs> <laughs> you uh-huh. see that's like even when you labor and now you're feeling the contractions and then you've you've kunjad your face mm. now even there has it's tightened so now imagine your baby is trying to relax and come out but now even you you've umetense so there's no room for the baby to come out so now you're fighting against each other you get what I mean Oof. Uh-huh. yeah So once the baby is out the pain ends instantly. Yeah, basically. Then you wait a few more minutes and I go back to labor. It doesn't have to be labor. Some women the placenta will come out immediately, some people after 40 minutes. Mine came out after an hour and a half to hours. So we just left the baby attached to the placenta, let all the blood transfer into the baby before we cut the cord. Some people also choose to just leave the cord and the placenta attached till it falls out on its own. To check for hemorrhage because now the bleeding mm. so that's not the, also the risk of leaving the placenta you'll notice either the woman is bleeding a lot or she's feeling dizzy she's not she's not there like ukimongelesha she's she's not responsive yeah so that's an emergency yeah so now that's when your midwife will notice and either she'll give you some midwives carry the your sindano it's called pitocin that makes your uterus contract so mm-hmm. it stops the bleeding. bleeding yeah so some midwives will carry that and they'll inject you otherwise other some will have herbs a lot of traditional birth attendants they have herbs to help you clear your uterus to help with any bleeding stuff like that because that's that's like the number one reason yeah, why when we, why we, we lose women during birth mm-hmm. like bleed sana so that's it Yeah but now they're not factor when you look at that statistic you're not factoring the, in the fact that there's women having inductions there's women who's had uh, CSs that have not been done properly stuff mm. like that you see so it's not necessarily any home birth yeah and it's not just the body like your your uterus has just mekata oh you know, so mostly in it due to some other issues yeah you know like most of the time your body will do what it needs to do to keep you safe right mm. like even now there's so many things it's doing right now so you don't have you know you're not yes. getting cancer or whatever you know mm. stuff like that mm. so just the same way in other parts of your body in birth your body is taking care of you and your baby so even home birth like i think it was meant to happen like that this body mm. has been ready to give birth mm. so it doesn't matter you in the hospital itatoka Hey, like you're not trying me. to run away or run to a doctor you're like okay let me relax if you feel yourself tensing like i'll teach you to notice the areas in your body that are zina zina tense when you're having contractions so mm-hmm. you release it and then that that makes the pain go away as well hey. 
Okay, now I get it. At least naweza sema for me for Tugi, mimi ndo nilazimisha daktari anipeleke hospitali because I was too tired. Mm. So I didn't give my body the chance. Mm. Ya kungoje ifike mpaka i feel. Yeah, now it's, it's time. <laughs> yeah. I was like no, I'm too tired I need to go. And of course ukifika hosi mm. as we are saying. Hatuchomei hosi but as we are saying they have their systems. They have many people. Mm. Like this is a business my friend. Yeah exactly. Celeste so, nusikuje hapa tunajipenda ati nini nini. Oh it's my first baby I don't oh, know what. Oh yeah I don't know. <laughs> Come on bana kuna mama ka 20 pale nje wanangojea. Mm. That bed that you're using. Exactly. So we don't have the time. So anyway, wacha tuseme by the time tunafika hapo Nicole naweza mm. kuambia nimenunua karai. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> yeah, if you call me your labor the first thing I'll tell you is to sleep. If you really? tell me labor started, sleep, rest. Yeah. Okay, Nicole and I make it guys so simple. So now that you you are a doula you work with pregnant women. Mm. You don't advise them on only home birth. No, my my job is not to tell you where to give birth. It's just to give you the confidence to trust your body and just know what to look out for so that even you are not just left like I how did this happen? Ama postpartum you've been left with this baby and you don't know what to do with it, you know? so may prepare you for all those steps i help you create the support system you need whatever that looks like for anyone for that day or for later on for that day and for the first three months after you give birth because it's all, also another huge task to mm. actually i think vitu wanza ku sink in mm. like me i think it took me a week no in heat wait this a baby this baby hadi to begin it's you this me yeah like this baby guy and it's the most scariest thing mm. for once i called my mom crying mm. nancy ya wapi mm. usiku ni mimi nikageuze kama akata geuzo akata igeuka like things that you didn't expect mm. and newborns are so weird they do so many weird things <laughs> you know you think ati akitoka that's ati life yake and my life you are, we are separate Actually, but you're still the same person just outside <laughs> So there's there's need for that also mm. for moms after you give birth. Mm-hmm. You need to at least someone who can guide you through. Yeah. I think even postpartum is one of the most important and like neglected parts of giving birth. You know you go to the hospital and they prepare you for giving birth and then after that it's like That's okay, it. I'll see you in six weeks. You don't know how to breastfeed, you don't know how to hold a baby, you don't, you don't know, know how to wash, wash a baby. It. Yeah. You don't know how many times your baby should poop, you don't know how long it should be awake. You don't know how to take care of your body after Yeah, you're bleeding. Yeah, you're not closing your hips like this. People they're not taught to close their hips. Like that's something you need to do to wrap your tummy. So that's where you come in. Now I see where you come in. That's yeah. where like mostly you come in. Yeah. So it's not to tell you how to give birth. It's just so you're prepared. Like you have the appropriate expectations. You're not here at oh, this baby will come out not a lala fro from one week or two weeks, you know. Baby still need to breastfeed every two hours. They need to be on your skin. It's not not abnormal at your baby's crying. It should not be put down. It's, it's normal. normal. Yeah. That's why we limfunza mkono. Yeah. It's normal, yeah. You say oh, ulimshika sana. Mm. It's so sad. Like this baby is just it's helpless, you know. And even you you're helpless. Now you need someone to take care of you so you can take care of the baby. So you so take care of me. Yeah. And then someone else. And then I'll take so care you, of my baby. Yeah. So now you have the the capacity to to take care of your baby. And that's where many women get into post post postpartum depression. Yeah, postpartum because you are alone, let's say you are alone in the mm-hmm. house. Mm-hmm. The first two weeks you're still bleeding. Mm. There's this baby. It doesn't who is yet. crying. Mm. Maybe I don't have milk. Yani by the vitu zinakujanga all at once. Yeah. Like ni nipelekeni polepole ni kazi na ku like I just give birth weeks. Hey, I know. Yeah. But then we think after like we think especially the last trimester it's normally hard mm. so we think after the baby is out that you just idea na mtu at it will be easier then it gets they normally say the fourth trimester is mm. the hardest yeah then it gets harder yeah so now for me it's my goal is that you have a smooth postpartum i think that's my most important one and that you're adequately prepared for birth so whether you you want to have a natural birth and then you notice something has gone wrong and you have a cs you're not feeling like Oh my god what happened I my failed. body has yeah exactly you know you've left and you felt you've done the best you can and you know now you and your baby are here and you're working on the next steps after that 
So if I'm to seek you after my delivery, mm. you you're coming in as you're going to be coming in duna. daily. Ama what do you do? Ama over the phone, Skype. How does it work? So Sasa will come up with the plan. So now let's say now you've had a CS. Obviously you can't walk around and do the things a mom who's had a vaginal birth can do. Mm-hmm. So and then now if you have another kid, so now that means that's another thing that you need taking care of so you can take care of yourself. So now I'd come in make sure you're well fed, make sure things are taken care of, whatever you need. So whatever your household needs, I will help you with that. Mm. Even if it's cleaning, doing dishes, whatever. Mm. Yeah, so I can come daily or I can come weekly until you don't need me. Okay, na, na Nicola mefanya nikakumbuka tulisa manga it's not normal to vaginal birth and and C-section. C-section. Yeah. So it's not normal birth and C-section. It's vaginal birth. Yeah, you've given birth. Yeah, either either way you've given birth. Hakuna mm-hmm. ile abnormal. So I'm sorry for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much Nicole. I feel like we can talk. Hapo kwa home birth. Nitabaki na Nicole nimuulize maswali ni wake. But yeah, like my take home is iki to see strange. This thing was meant to happen. Mm-hmm. So if the time has come for that baby to come out, that baby will come out. Mm-hmm. So it does see at any home bath. So we can even have taxi bath, matatu bath. Mm. Like wherever you will be umto ya mwe kutoka, mm. hautamzuia. Yeah. Eh, uh, so I think you don't take home. Yeah. yeah. Just take it easy, keep it simple. It's, it's see at you know, you need to prepare for death. You're not preparing for death, you know. It's a baby. You're giving life, you're not, you know. Life is not being taken from but you. But I feel like history had duty to Kosea. I, I, honestly, personally, I think people should just leave due dates alone. Exactly. Because well, now... There's no calendar in your stomach there that your exactly. baby is at you. And you know, even guess. Dr. It's a guess. Lisa, when is your last <laughs> menstrual? Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, most likely the dates were not nini exact. Accurate, yeah. Exactly. So, akikwambia due date ni this day, wu mm. mejipanga na akili yako. And that's why we get induced so many. Yeah. Because, ilisama ni date. So, you want... You don't have to give your body the time. time. Yeah. Uh, I think we live in a society that just wants to control everything. True. And birth is not something you can control like at all. Whether you take due dates and you do cervical exams, that baby will come out anytime. Like if you do a cervical exam and you're like two, you could go from two to ten in one hour. You could mm. go from ten back to two. Like it goes back and forth. So all these things are just just mean like small things that don't really mean much. <laughs> Yeah. Sawa so, kila mtu afanye kazi yake. Wacha tuache mwili zetu zifanye kazi yake. <laughs> Ikijisikia ongezea 3 months, eh hey, no. Yeah, that's a lot. Eh hey, no. <laughs> hey, no. Well, thank you Nicole. Mm-hmm. Personally, in my the way I am right now, I have learned a lot. Yeah. Tutajaribu to to try due date kwa kill. Try due date kwa kill to one kai if we can let our bodies do what they like what they're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But yeah, thank you so much for the knowledge. Yeah. For enlightening us. Najua kuna ndoka na maswali mingi sana. Tuta tuta wataandika top of the can reach out to your page. Yeah. They can reach out to you. Her page is ruby.mamas. Mamas. Mamas. Yeah, on Instagram. So they can reach out to you when you want to do maybe. Because mm. I feel that's also something else. Apo kwa fourth trimester yeah. like it's normally crazy mm. yeah. you know you feel like you don't need support you feel like it's like some other expense but a lot of the time your struggles are in your head mm. like mental struggles yeah and adjustments yes. so you need support doing that and it's not something you should ignore or take like lightly so where moving forward ni home birth home birth home birth home birth god willing <laughs> wow yeah thank you so much nicole uh parting shot like your last maybe your last Advice. remarks yeah Um I think just trust yourself listen to your body and it's something simple just maybe address those fears if you have fears find out where they're coming from are they actual fears that are likely to happen with stories you've had also don't let people tell you all those fearful stories all those negative stories just go into it with few expectations and yeah come <laughs> okay Thank you so much Nicole. That was a heavy one. Yeah, mekuwa mzito. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you next week for the other episode. Bye.